I don't know the feeling, but I can sort of imagine uh, spending uh, 27 years in incarceration, fighting uh, a fight that uh, 27 years ago you didn't think that you could win, or 30 years ago you didn't think you could win. You know, for us in the sporting industry, or to have someone like Nelson Mandela come and change our lives, not just for sport, but for every opportunity that anybody had in this country, is probably the greatest gift that any person or country can have. And uh, for us who have been through so much in golf being supposedly uh, an elitist sport, for us to be able to change so rapidly and to have so many young players coming through that never had the opportunity before and so many young kids in townships or in really disadvantaged areas going through our golf development uh, and coming through and being able to go home with a trophy or to being uh, going into their communities. All this is only because of, of one man, of one man creating an opportunity by saying that through sport you can change people's lives. And fortunately for me, I was there in Monte Carlo when I heard those words spoken for the first time. And I could see the, the feeling among all those great sportsmen, those great icons of sport, and how when they saw this unbelievable man for the first time, how it changed their lives also, and how it changed their thinking. So, you know, for us as a, uh, as a particular industry, without having uh, the opportunity of a lot of people might not have met the great Nelson Mandela. Uh, a few of us have had that great pleasure and to be blessed to have been able to do that and to be able to, to, to work with his legacy and to change the little part that we can as we go along. That, to me, is justice to uh, the life of, of Nelson Mandela. We're playing in the Nelson Mandela Championships. We're looking at it as a Nelson Mandela Memorial Championships and we hope that this tournament will go on for many, many years and that we are able to contribute more to what Madiba started doing. Uh, one of our projects this year, as you know, is the Nelson Mandela uh, Children's Hospital. So every opportunity that we get, we're trying to ensure that people know what we're trying to do and that should they want to do something, they should do it with the Nelson Mandela Children's Fund to make sure that that hospital becomes a reality, that the foundations are built and the ground is broken and that it goes up in the sky as fast as possible. That I doubt if we'll go 72 holes, but we're going to try our best to finish today and then early tomorrow morning, hopefully by 9 o'clock, uh, weather permitting, uh, we will finish the second round and then we will cut to the top 65 players and we'll try and finish tomorrow because we're not playing Sunday and we're definitely not playing Monday. So, you know, my, my target, I think, is that we're going to get to 54 holes.